Welcome to today's special. I'm your host, Leslie Bornstein. Most Americans first heard about Sierra Leone from the movie Blood Diamond, but we're here today to discuss the play Sierra Leone on stage. With me today are the writer, producer, and director of the play, Rodney Tyro Johnson. Thank you for having us, okay. And the executive producer of the play, Edmund Richmond. Thank you for having us. So I'll start with you, Rodney. Tell us about the play Sierra Leone and how it relates to the country. Sierra Leone on stage is very synonymous still with Sierra Leone the country because I actually, you know, experience, I live and breathe, you know, what exactly took place in um, Sierra Leone. And so as a result of that, I decided it would be wise if I can just express myself through poetry. I wrote this play back in 2006. Excuse me, you wrote the play, you wrote the poem in 2006. In 2006, and then you, you know, and I just, yeah, and I recently that's decided that's to take sure it to the stage. Correctly. The goal is to reach a broader audience because I believe the message is much more powerful on the stage. You know, a lot of people can relive this moment, this his, important historical moment in Sierra Leone. You know, by just um, doing it on a piece of paper or writing a poem on a piece of paper or on a website, it doesn't really have that impact as it is on stage. The traumatization of history being unfold, you know, that's a very powerful message. You know, it's visual. As a non-Sierra Leonean, how do you relate to the play? Well, uh, first of all, uh, being a non-Sierra Leonean does not exclude me uh, from being uh, uh, a part of what is happening in Sierra Leone, uh, particularly because uh, the situation in Sierra Leone, uh, there are so many other African nations that can actually identify uh, to that very situation. Uh, it's not just in Sierra Leone. Uh, so as an African, uh, I believe uh, it's my responsibility to get involved in such a, uh, a huge uh, project so we can uh, uh, bring awareness to the uh, global audience. written a poem, Sierra Leone, okay. and in fact you based your play on, that the, poem. on the poem. Okay. And there's a very important stanza in this poem that I think is the crux of the play. Okay. So if you would re just recite that stanza for the audience. We gain independence with less bloodshed, a physical confrontation with the colonial masters. But yet still, we went through a great deal of struggle. Struggle with no stranger but self, all in the name of power. And this power, we got this power from the British in 1961. What did we do with it? We use it to divide. We use it to marginalize a segment of society. We use it to infuse tribalism in the nation. We use it, you know, to infuse nepotism, which is, you know, based on who you know. If I get a promotion, it's not based on what I know. You know, in Africa, social elevation is not based on merit, you know, but it's based on who you know, and that's very, very sad. So there's a culture of corruption in Africa. You know, there's a culture of ineptitude in Africa. You know, and people tend to be um, okay with it, you know, because it's, it is a, an acceptable norm, you know, and this culture was breathed down our throat by our so-called politicians, and that's the saddest thing. And it's been going on and on. So do you think that that vindicates the colonialists or the, the white man from um, the popular notion that most Africans hold of um, blaming the white man for all the troubles? I wouldn't quite put it that way because colonialism itself, it's a bad concept. You know, <laughs> one country that is powerful dominating a less powerful country, it's inhuman. But with that being said, after colonialism, what happened? Sierra Leone gained independence relatively peacefully from the British. And during that time, there was a period of, you know, prosperity and calm in the country. That didn't live for long. It was short lived, that period, actually. You know, and then you had a series of coups in the late um, 60s in Sierra Leone. And then from there, the country fell into 
economic stagnation. You know, um, Sierra Leone declared a state of emergency actually in 1987, economic emergency. You know, that's one of the few African countries, you know, to do that. So that in itself was very, very shocking. You know, and so Sierra Leone became a failed state essentially. And so as a result, we are still paying the price for it. So we can really point finger at the white man. Yes, the white man might be pulling the strings from Europe, but at the same time, you know, what did we do? The white man didn't tell us to amputate <laughs> each other's limb and arms. We had Sierra Leoneans chopping the arms and limbs of Sierra Leoneans, you know, amputating Sierra Leoneans. What does a little kid, innocent kid, has to do with anything that's going wrong in Sierra Leone? Absolutely not. What does the white man has to do with what went on in Sierra Leone during the war? Okay, some people will say, okay, the white man actually sold weapons to Sierra Leoneans, but he didn't tell you to go and kill your brothers. You know, you have conscience, you have common sense. Quote unquote, you must be the change that you wish to see in the world. Are we making these changes? No. Are we being these changes? No, we are not. You know, politicians embezzling hundreds of millions sent to the country by IMF. You know, how do you call that? Selfishness and greed. How do you expect people to sit quiet and be okay with, with that? You know, so these are the things that really uh, 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 um, divide a nation, and it's going on. So I decided to write this. This is a satire. You know, I'm ridiculing the fault of society, just like Fella did with his music. You know, it's very similar in, the, in a different way. So most of these issues that followed after independence were self-inflicted wounds. I believe it's time, you know, for someone to talk about those things. And there is no better way to do this uh, than to try to vehicular this information through the stage play.